guys! So lately I've been seeing these heat sensitive mugs everywhere and I think they are an amazing thing to make it yourself. They are also the perfect gift, so I hope you like them. Start off by searching and printing an 8 bit hard design like this. Cut it out and use it to outline the shape onto your mug with a pencil. You can also freehand this, but I find it easier this way. Then go over with a porcelain marker or a marker suitable for mugs. Keep carefully completing the design until you finish with the black outline. To paint the red part, I'm using this porcelain paint, so just go ahead and paint your red part with something that is designed to paint in porcelain or a max. For this second design, I freehanded the design using a picture as a guide. Don't worry if you make any mistake, you can clean it up easily with a Q-tip and some alcohol. After finishing your design, fill the inside of the cage with red paint. Now follow the instructions of your paint and markers and bake the mugs to seal the design if they need so. To make the color changing effect, I'm using this heat sensitive pigment that as always I found on eBay. Uh, I will leave the link in the description box and I will mix it with some ceramic varnish. Just place a little bit of the pigment and a little bit of the varnish and mix it well. The consistency must be something similar to ink. Make sure it's pretty opaque, but not too thick. And finally, just paint over the red parts of your design. And remember, it's much better to apply two thin coats instead of a thick one. After letting it dry for at least 10 hours, let's see if this works. So, as you can see, it works amazing. The pigment doesn't become completely transparent, but it works perfectly fine for this kind of designs. The effect obviously is not permanent, it goes back to black once it completely cools down. And you can also pour some cold water to fasten this process. So that was it for this video, I'm super happy with how this match turned out and I hope you like them too. So thumbs up the video if you did and subscribe for new DIY videos if you are new to my channel. Thanks for watching, bye!